I'm here at the Gaylor Opera and Convention Center. You see this? What's so nice about this area, especially on the second floor, in the Convention Center, right across from Opera Mills, right here in Nashville, Tennessee, is that they have their own radio station, WSM. We shield millions, 282.8, National Life and Accident Insurance, and everything else. WSM first went on the air on October 5th, 1925, as a service of National Life and Accident Insurance Company. The first broadcast studio was located on the fifth floor of National Life's brand new downtown Nashville headquarters at 7th Union. The call letters with WSM stands for We Shield Millions, which was the insurance company's motto. In October 1932, WSM's broadcasting power increased to 50,000 watts that station could be heard across the entire United States and into Canada. Twice the power station. Legendary Fisk Julie B. Singer. WSM featured a wide variety of live entertainment through the years, including classical music, radio, drama, gospel music, renowned shows such as The Walking Crew, Sunday Down South, and WSN featured famous entertainers such as Snooky Lanson, Dinah Stashore, Ralph Emery, and Pat Sajak all got their start at WSM. That's them right there. Amazing photo. That's Beasley Smith, Dinah Shore, and Marjorie Clement. Pat Sajak is right here. In 1950s, WSM announcer David Cobb coined the term Music City USA, and the moniker is now the official nickname for Nashville. Ralph Emery interviewed John E. Cash. Did you know that? Johnny Cash was interviewed right here at the Gaylord Opelant Convention Center, right inside on the second floor in the Magnolia area. In 2000, Radio and Records magazine named WSM Country Station of the Century. George D. H. with Uncle Jimmy Thompson. On November 28, 1925, WSM station director George D. Hay introduced old Tim father Uncle Jimmy Thompson to the WSM audience. The response was so great that Saturday night Grand Ole Opry was born. Opry crowds at the Ryham Auditorium. Now that's history of the making right there. Overflowing crowds forced the Opry show to leave the WSM broadcast studios for a series of larger venues. In June 1943, the show moved to Ryham Auditorium where it stayed until 1974 when it moved to the Copperland Complex. Amazing history how this place began. Grand Ole Opry House now. The Grand Ole Opry House has become synonymous with country music led national Americans as the country music capital of the world. It's an amazing photo. Grand Ole Opry stage for singers like Dolly Parton, a poet, George Strait, and many others have sung. Pay attention. Grand Ole Opry, Grand Ole Opry stage. You should check that out. The portion of Opry has been broadcast television since 1985. It is currently airing on Great American Country, but the show is entirely still broadcast live over WSM 650 a.m. every week. That's today, people. Don't miss out on seeing Kenny Rogers once in a while. Three fifty. On the radio, WSM can be heard in 38 states and in parts of Canada thanks to 50 watts clear channel signal. That's Charlie Pride right there. Lance Gill, another country singer. On the internet, WSM can be heard all over the world at WSMonline.com. That's Carrie Underwood, another dear friend of mine. I get around. WSM continues to enrich its audience daily by playing only the best in classic country music, plus today's biggest country stars and enlightening the young minds of today's American children all over the world on the fine points of playing music. Such instruments as the piano, the guitar, and the flute, the clarinet. I'm not just watching Nashville Symphony on TV. Brad Praisley right there. A great country singer. Today, WSM Awards winning announcers embody the rich legacy other predecessors such as Grant, Turner, Ralph, Emery, Charlie Douglas, and Harry Hensley, just a few of the long list of legendary voices. 
all right here at Gaylord Opelang Convention Center in Nashville, Tennessee. You should check this place out. It's got a nice lot of history and a lot of current events. And when you're tired, you can check yourself into the hotel right now. Cool. Let's do this. Happy holidays right here in Nashville, Tennessee.